I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, all of that fun stuff, and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. I still really can't decide what is happening with my hair right now. <laughs> Maybe we should do a bun? <laughs> is this any better? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so apparently we're gonna be living the bun life today. <laughs> Good morning. How is everyone? Welcome to the bun. Welcome, hello, I hope everyone is doing fabulous. I apologize for how my hair looks today. I am on a hair wash day. I promise this will look better at some point. <laughs> I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. And once again, I am here to share with you guys another what I eat in a day vlog on my Optavia 5-in-1 program. So if you guys are new to my channel, let me bring you up to speed. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schley's Health Journey series, which is going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 program. If you don't know what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. But the basics of the weight loss component of your program is gonna be you consuming five fuelings a day that come to you in your monthly Optavia box and then you're going to be making one lean and green meal a day from home. All of your fuelings in your lean and green meal and all of that is going to be spread out by two to three hour increments throughout the day. So welcome to another episode of my Schley's Health Journey series. <laughs> Okay guys, still getting used to how this is apparently how I look on this vlog right now. We're gonna ignore it. So welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So yes, I am here to document another what I eat in a day vlog for you guys on my Optavia 5-in-1 program. I have been receiving so much good feedback from all of you on loving seeing these kinds of videos and I'm so glad you like seeing them because I like filming them and they really do help me stay accountable on my journey. So I'm here to share another full what I eat in a day vlog with you and thank you so much for joining me on this video. So I gotta just really quick bring you guys up to speed because it's extremely distracting as I'm trying to talk to you guys about what's gonna happen today. I need some advice. Like, legit. I really need some help. Sorry if you can hear Zach in the background. He is showering. Here's the deal. I live in Colorado. As most of you know, at least around right now, this time in February, our country has been receiving lots and lots of snow. <laughs> and I mean, me being in Colorado, I feel like I'm used to snow at this point. It's totally normal. But here's the deal. There is something different about this year. I don't know what it is, I don't know why it is so much different, more snow and more dryness than I think I've ever experienced in Colorado and I don't know what to do about it. So not only are we getting snow, I mean snow is like normal for Colorado, like obviously we're in the mountains, but we are getting extremely cold temperatures, like literally yesterday it was negative 5 degrees. That's new. I'm pretty sure my entire life in Colorado, there's maybe like five or six times I can count that it got below zero. Negative five is like you go outside and you can feel your skin just like cracking and like it's just, yeah. So negative five is a new thing for me and I think that's what's really going on right now. So here's where I need your guys' help. My skin, it seems like it's like looking a little bit better on camera than it was at the beginning of this video, but my skin is the driest it has ever been. And I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> like I live in Colorado, you'd think I'd have this down by now, but the thing is, I've never experienced it this dry before and it's at the point where if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys will know that I kind of deal with this struggle of this like constant eye watering and I'm pretty sure it's from allergies. I've been struggling with it for like a few years now. My dad deals with the same thing. We think it might be also semi-genetic, all of these things. So I have like this watering eye and it happens on both eyes, but specifically this one is the worst, my left eye. And I'm 
I think because of my eye watering all throughout the day, I mean, it's super annoying and I don't know why it happens, but basically my eye watering all throughout the day makes this whole cheek extremely dry. And it's at the point where, you know when you're like peeling because you got a sunburn? Yeah, I'm like peeling from dry skin. I have never experienced this before. My body, I've lived in Colorado since I was two years old, you guys. Like, I feel like my body has acclimated to the dry weather and the altitude and all of that, but this is a new thing. So I literally have like flakiness and dryness all over this part of my cheek. And then right under my eye is so tender, it burns. It literally, I've tried putting eye cream on, I've tried buying all these different products, trying to figure out what I can do that will get me some sort of moisture, especially over here. I need your guys' help. Please, please comment down below if you have any suggestions. I need to know what to do about this because it's actually like burning. I gotta figure out a way to fix this. It hurts so bad, it's so distracting, it makes me not wanna even put any makeup on because it's so dry and it feels like my skin is just like dying. <laughs> Like, anyway, I think it's because of the extremely low temperatures. I think that's really what's doing it this year. I have never experienced this before. Normally our low temperatures in Colorado are like maybe 10 or 15 degrees. It's not been negative five. So anyway, leave your recommendations down below because I'm extremely distracted filming this video because my skin hurts so bad and I gotta figure it out. So back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> So I am going to be documenting what I eat in a day on my Optivia 5-in-1 program. As you guys know, I am still drinking my coffee because apparently it takes me three hours to drink my coffee. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys take forever to drink your morning coffee as well and then you have to reheat several times. I'm gonna be documenting for you guys all of my fuelings today, my lean and green meal. I actually have a little bit of lean and green meal prep that I need to get done today as well. If you guys are looking for some ideas or wanting to meal prep with me, use this as a little bit of inspiration. I'm gonna finish up my coffee now. My coffee, as you guys know, I do three tablespoons of cream, half and half, as one healthy fat for the day. And then I also did about a half a tablespoon of the Walden Farms caramel syrup, sugar-free. And if you guys have not tried the Walden Farms sugar-free caramel, oh my God, number one, try it. It is absolutely delicious, super game changer. I'll make sure to link it down below and anything else that I use throughout this video, I'll make sure I link down below as well in case you guys wanna try it, but yes have to try the caramel syrup. However, I will say, I was having a conversation with one of my clients the other day specifically about this. So if you guys have seen my channel since I started using sugar-free caramel or sugar-free syrup in my coffee, the recommended amount is two tablespoons for one condiment. I'm using half a tablespoon. Shocker, I know. Literally two tablespoons is one condiment. I initially started at two tablespoons, then went down to one tablespoon and have since gone down to half of a tablespoon of caramel syrup in my coffee. I'm telling you guys, this is what really happens on this program. Your palate changes so, so much as you continue on your journey and as you start eating healthier and healthier and as you're getting more water and all these different things, so many things shift including your palate, and two tablespoons of caramel syrup seems extremely sweet for me right now. Crazy. So now I'm literally down to half a tablespoon, which if you do the math on that, that's literally a quarter of a condiment. <laughs> like, that's hardly anything, but that is all I need in my coffee. Also, peep the cutest mug ever, just saying. That's literally all I need. So I did three tablespoons of cream in my coffee for one healthy fat, and then I did a half a tablespoon of Walden Farms sugar-free caramel syrup as a quarter of a condiment, if you guys wanna count it as that. That was what I had for my coffee, and then I also had the red berry crunchy O's, also a shocker. So many people hate those. But my thing is, you guys, once again, your palate changes. I absolutely hated the red berry O's when I first started this program. I thought they tasted like medicine. Now, they're absolutely one of my favorite fuelings. I could have those all the time. I literally just did half a cup of unsweetened almond milk, which as you guys know, one full cup of unsweetened almond milk is gonna be a condiment. So I did half a cup for half of a condiment. I had the red berry crunchy O's and I actually like them. No, I did not like them at the beginning of my program, but now I super like them. Your palates change, you guys. All of those feelings that you think you hated at the beginning, 
give them another shot because I'm telling you so many things will shift for you while you're on your program and it's a very good thing. So listen to your palate and listen to your body as you go because I'm telling you it's gonna make some shifts. So I had my first fueling of the day around 5.30 and then it's about 8.30 now so I'm gonna have fueling number two. I'm gonna have my silky peanut butter chocolate chip bar. You guys know this is like absolutely my favorite bar they make. So I'm gonna have fueling number two really quick right now and like I said I'm gonna take you guys along for my full day of eating so that if you guys are just starting your program or you're looking into getting on program or you're just looking for somebody to do this program with and somebody that you can bond with while you're on this journey, welcome to the tribe. Let's do this together. I'm here to document my full journey and I really really appreciate everybody joining me here as well. I've got a couple client meetings, Zoom calls, all of that fun stuff and I'm just gonna take you along for my day. So so thank you so much for joining me on this video and let's get started. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go find a place where you can Fueling number three, it is about 11.30 a.m. and I went ahead and just made the buttermilk cheddar herb biscuit. This fueling is so versatile, super yummy, and I just like to throw it in my dash. It's so much better that way, I think. And then I just did a sprinkle of the everything but elote, or however you say that seasoning from Trader Joe's. Super, super good. It just gives it like a little bit of a kick, and I really, really like that seasoning. I just do a sprinkle, and it gives it a little bit of a nice spicy kick, so gonna have this for fueling number three and then I will check back in with you guys when we're gonna start prepping our lean and green. Okay you guys so we are gonna start prepping our lean and greens for the week. This is going to be a weekly meal prep. I don't know if you guys prep your lean and greens for the week but honestly it just makes everything super super easy for us. You only have to make one meal a day and if you can take the thinking out of that one too why not? The fuelings are thought out for you. The fuelings your other five meals a day are just done. You don't have to worry about it you just grab it out of the box. The lean and green there's a little bit more thinking involved. So I try to take that out of the equation as well so that I have zero excuse. I know that I've got lean and greens prepped and ready to go and I don't have to worry about it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Zach and I are actually heading out of town next week. By the way, I will be bringing you guys along so that you guys can be a part of our little adventure for Zach's birthday. But I'm gonna go ahead and prep lean and greens for this week just because I wanna make sure that we are super, super solid on our program this week. If I'm gonna be able to have a little bit of a celebration with Zach on his birthday, I to be solid, solid in my health this week. So I'm gonna prep our lean and greens and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing. As you guys have seen in probably some of my previous videos, I try to keep our lean and greens throughout the week really, really simple. Strict veggies, chicken, veggies, protein, whatever you need to do to where they're in my fridge, ready to go. All I have to do is just throw them in a saucepan with some Pam olive oil and it's just good to go. So I'm gonna prep them today and show you guys kind of how we do this for a week of meal prep. I had a couple veggies in my fridge as well as I picked up some veggies from the store yesterday and I'll show you what we're gonna be using. But I'm gonna hopefully get maybe seven or eight lean and greens out of this so that I can have some and Zach can have them for the week and then it's just easy. I don't have to think about it, it's just done. So. Here's what we're gonna be using. I snagged a big bag of broccoli from our King Supers, which King Supers is kind of like the local grocery store here in Colorado. I think it's similar to Kroger, wherever you live. This is just a big bag of broccoli that should realistically last us most of our lean and greens, so I'm gonna chop this up. I have two packs of tri-colored peppers. I normally just pick these up from Target. Super, super easy, and they give me all the different colors and all the different flavors. I just have to chop these up and measure them out easily for our lean and greens, so I got two packs, so six peppers, all together. This is my latest find of a secret ingredient I want to start putting in our lean and greens. So Zach and I actually met up with some friends for dinner the other night and they had these. So I have no idea what the technical term is for this, but I'm going to call them baby asparagus. <laughs> so basically I'm not a huge fan of asparagus. I never really have been, but when we met friends for dinner the other night, they made these in a saucepan and you guys can see they are much, much thinner than regular asparagus. I don't know if you guys can really 
tell, but they're like half the size of regular asparagus. And I'm thinking I just want to kind of chop these up and put them in my lean and green stir fry that I usually like to do. So I picked up two packs of these and they were actually on sale at our store. So that was perfect. I'm going to try these out in our lean and greens this week. If you guys want to try these out as well, we can see what we think. So two packs of baby asparagus. And then for the protein portion of our lean and green meal, Zach already made some chicken and ground turkey for me yesterday. So we like to pick up a big pack of chicken or a big pack of ground turkey and just grill it up or do it on the stovetop or whatever we need to do and chop it up so that it's just easy and I don't even have to worry about it. I just measure out my portion for that lean and green and it's good. I have just regular grilled chicken here, plain and simple. And then if we need it, I've got a little bit of ground turkey as well. We'll measure these out based on the portions that we need for the lean and greens and all that fun stuff. I'll weigh it on my kitchen scale. And then these are just prepped and ready to go so I don't have to make the chicken today. It's just done. All right, I'm gonna get to chopping and then I'll show you guys how everything kind of comes together and we'll have lean and greens for the week. protein. So I've got everything laid out. Everything is chopped and ready to go. And if you guys have seen my meal prep videos before, I like to just chop everything and throw it in a pan for a quick stir fry whenever it's time for our lean and green. So this will make really, really easy assembly. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I put in each individual meal prep container that I've got right here and then how easy it is just to throw it together. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and prep one of the meal prep containers now so you can see how we put this together and then we'll do all the rest the same way. So the first thing I'm gonna add into my meal prep container is gonna be my protein. So I've got my digital kitchen scale here and if you guys don't have a digital kitchen scale, I'll make sure I link all of this down below. To keep it clean, I'm just gonna put a paper towel right on top and then press the on button. So the first thing we're gonna be using today is grilled chicken and the allotted amount of grilled chicken as your lean protein is gonna be six ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out a portion of six ounces of my grilled chicken. So first off, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of broccoli for one green. I'm gonna do a half a cup of chopped bell peppers for my second green. And then last but not least for our third green, I'm gonna do half a cup of my chopped baby asparagus. And there you have it. Here is our finished 
prepped lean and green meal. We've got our six ounces of the leaner protein right here in grilled chicken, and then we've got three servings of green right here. We've got half a cup of broccoli, half a cup of peppers, and half a cup of our baby asparagus. And this is gonna be a full lean and green meal. Technically, because I have chicken, I would be adding one healthy fat to this, which you guys know I normally do my healthy fat in my coffee in the morning, but you could do olive oil when you prepare this. If you wanna do just regular drizzled olive oil, you could use that as your healthy fat, or you could do a little bit of avocado or anything like that that works best for you. So my half and half in my coffee will count as my healthy fat towards this meal, but otherwise this is going to be one full lean and green meal, and I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of them so you can see how they turn out. Do I So this made about seven portions, which is awesome for our week. The ground turkey, I did seven ounces of ground turkey in these ones, and then I already told you in the chicken ones, I did six ounces of grilled chicken, but these are gonna be perfect, and literally all I have to do is throw them in a saucepan, get them hot, and then these are ready to go for my lean and green. And then just with some of the extra veggies, I'll just have Zach make me a little bit more chicken or a little bit more turkey later on through the week if we need more, and then I'll have these veggies prepped and ready to go. That's it, you guys. That is all we have to do to have a successful lean and green meal prepped for our week. We don't even have to worry about it. This, I literally have to just pull out a saucepan, spray with some Pam olive oil spray, throw this in, and it's a complete lean and green meal. You could do a little bit of soy sauce on top. You could throw in a laughing cow cheese if you wanna have like a cheese sauce. Super, super simple, and especially on your program, you do wanna keep these semi-simple. If you wanna have the best results, make sure that you understand exactly what's in your lean and green, exactly how many veggies, how many leans, all of that fun stuff, and make sure you consult your coach if you have questions on that as well. But keep your lean and greens simple throughout the week, and then if you wanna have one fun meal, maybe like once a week or twice a week, do something like a cauliflower pizza or do the Big Mac salad or do something fun. But throughout the rest of the week, keep it easy, keep it simple. All I have to do is pop this in the fridge and then whenever it's time for our lean and green, just pop it on the stove. If you guys try out this lean and green recipe, please let me know. I am really excited for the baby asparagus. Like I said, these will crisp up and they get crunchy. I'm excited for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the fridge really quick right now and then I'll bring one out when it's time to make my lean and green meal. I'll show you guys how we do that. I'm gonna go jump on a quick call and I will check back in with you in a bit. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so. lean and green meal. Super, super yummy. Like I said, this is a full lean and green, so this is gonna be half a cup of broccoli, we've got half a cup of asparagus, and half a cup of peppers, and then we've got our six ounces of grilled chicken right there. Just use a little bit of Pam olive oil spray in the pan so that it didn't stick, but this looks absolutely delicious, and this is really how easy your lean and green should be. I just put these in the fridge so that I can have them prepped, ready to go, throw them into a pan, and you guys just saw what we did. We just put this together, it's now warmed through, really, really yummy, and I just cooked them from fresh raw veggies, and then this is gonna do it for me today. So it is about 2.30 p.m. now, I'm gonna have my lean and green now, and then I will check back in with you guys for fueling number four. Walking hand in hand on the ocean floor Down deep we wonder Louder we sing, no, there is no cure in this 
which if you guys have been around for a while, you will know that I am always craving something sweet after my lean and green. So my go-to has been like either a brownie or usually hot chocolate, which is exactly what we're gonna have today. This is the velvety hot chocolate with a little bit of whip right on top. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this because it's pretty snowy outside and cold. I think I already mentioned that in this vlog. And I also feel like I never actually addressed the fact that I'm basically in my pajamas today. <laughs> I don't know why, I just felt like being cozy and I didn't have time to wash my hair and this is just our life today. So might as well be cozy with some velvety hot chocolate, fueling number four, and I will check in with you guys for fueling number five. Okay guys, it is the end of the night and I am having fueling number five. I just went ahead and made a waffled decadent chocolate brownie with Greek yogurt chips. And can we all have a moment of silence for how perfect this brownie turned out? <laughs> Please know, if you are just starting on program and just starting to waffle, things I will say if you're exploding waffles that's totally normal because everyone does it and it's very rare that they turn out this perfect but whenever they do turn out perfect you have to admire it that's all I'm saying I've had so many requests to do a how to make the perfect waffle video you guys and I don't know how to make the perfect waffle I just have exploded many myself to know a couple ways to try and fix it in the process if I can so Anyway, comment below if you wanna see a how to make the perfect waffle. I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know I'm gonna have fueling number five. It is the end of the night. I still somehow have some energy. I'm not really sure how, but we're gonna roll with it. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this video today, you guys. I really, really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I feel like we got a lot of great meal prep done today. I feel like we had a lot of strategy sessions today, all of that fun stuff, and I'm just glad that I was able to bring you guys along for the process, so thank you for tuning in. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like the video down below, as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. If you guys wanna see more What I Eat in a Day vlogs from me of what I eat on my Up to Be a 5-in-1 program, Program, please comment that down below as well. I'd love to hear some feedback. Thank you so, so much for watching and thank you so, so much for supporting my Schlee's Health Journey series so far. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. On the carnival till the race go home Now I only see you